If anyone had asked Anthony Burgess why he and his wife Lynn were proposing to visit Leningrad in the summer of 1961, he surely would have found it difficult to formulate a straightforward reply. One of the main incentives was that his UK publisher Heinemann had offered to advance Burgess's travel expenses against future royalties if he would use his time gathering material for a Cold War fiction novel. In the first surviving letter concerning A Clockwork Orange, written in April 1961, Burgess wrote, I'm in the early stages of a novel about juvenile delinquents in the future. I'm fabricating with difficulty a teenage dialect compounded equally of American and Russian roots. There's a lot, I think, to be done in this field. 